वेलकम टू द सीरीज ऑफ डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द चैप्टर नंबर थ्री दैट इज़ एस क्यू एल वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन वट इज़ एस क्यू एल हिस्ट्री ऑफ एस क्यू एल डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कमांड्स इन डी डी एल टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद द डी एम एल कमांड्स डेट इज डेटा मैनुपलेशन लैंग्वेजेस डेटा मैनुपलेशन कमांड्स आर यूज टू मॉडिफाई द डेटा बेस और टेबल इट इज़ रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दी फॉर ऑल फॉर्म ऑफ द चेंजेस इन द डेटा बेसिस As we already know that a table can be uh, have a two part that's a, that, that is table structure and table data. So whenever we want to modify or we, we want to work with the table structure, we always use a DDL command that is create table command to create the structure of table. Then alter table command to modify the structure of table. Drop table command to drop the table structure with its value and truncate table command is used to. Truncate or delete all the values which is present in the table. But when we want to change or modify or work with the table data, at that time we are not able to use a DDL command. We will be using a, a other set of commands which is there inside the DML commands. So DML command commands some basic DML commands are insert, update, delete, and select. we'll see these commands in detail okay now next command which uh, the first command which comes under the category of dm dml command is insert command the sql insert into statement is used to add a new row of a uh, data into a table as we know that when we are creating a structure we use a create table command but by create table command we are only able to create the table if we want to insert a value in the table we need to use another command that is a dml command insert into command the syntax of writing the insert into table command is insert into table name values open bracket then number of values number value 1 value 2 value 3 up to value n the number of columns which is created while creating a table and the values which you are giving in the insert into table has to be match if you have four column in the create table command you need to provide four values in the insert table command and it has to be matched with the data type also <coughs> let's see the example here i have a student table the student table is having three column that is id name and course id name and course because it has three column we need to provide the three value in the insert table command when we are inserting uh, the values in the table we need to take care of a number of column and what type of data should go inside the column like for example for id we will be using a data because it is having a integer data type will be able to use only the integer value so how we can write the command we'll write insert into student or insert into subject in this case values then number 1 it because it is id it is having a integer data type we need to provide the integer value and then have we have a name for name of a subject we'll write dbms and then for course i'll be giving a value as bbsca so because the table is having three column we have provided three values in the insert into table command now we will see the example by running the query <coughs> in the previous lecture i have already created the student table now i will be inserting the values in the same student table so let's insert the value for inserting a value we need to write insert into student student is what it is the name of my table then we need to use one keyword that is values and then open bracket and give the values for set of columns what is the first column i have in my table it is roll number and if you see here carefully i have given a data type as int so i'll be writing value as 1 number 
here we have a uh, next column okay comma is what comma is a separator comma is a separator it separates the value of one column fr from the another column the next column uh, uh, in the creatable command is name so we need to give a value for a name so i'll be writing here let's take saba then we have gender for gender we have a character 6 and by default here we have implemented one check constraint and by using the check constraint um uh, we have only two choice of values what the check constraint will do it restrict the number of values or it uh, enforce certain condition on the values which you can insert in the uh table so here i have a restriction either i can use male or i can use female and remember that it is a case sensitive so if you have a specified female with capital f you need to write female with capital f o here and then single quote okay i have not specified you why we have used single quote here whenever you are inserting a values and if the data type is other than integer and float okay i am repeating myself again if you have a creatable command if in the creatable command because we know that we have a set of different data types if you have data type as integer and float you will not require single quote but the column which is having a data type other than integer and float here it needs a single quote for value insertion so like here if i have roll number roll number with a roll number i have integer so i have not specified a single quote but with a name we have used variable character and it is other than integer and float so we have used single quote for gender again because it is a data type it is having a data type as character 6 so we need to specify a single quote with a value okay now next is what next is age so i need to give a separator i'll give separator after that age so like like see here age is having data type as int and because it is int we need to give a value without a single quote so i'll be writing like 15 then mobile number let's put mobile number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so this is a mobile number and it is unique and then we have a class by default i have given class as fibbsca again it is having a data type as variable character so i'll be giving a value as let's take f y b b a c a and then complete the uh, semicolon uh, single quote once all the values is done we need to give a close bracket because we have open it Uh, after the values value keyword and then give a semicolon once you give a semicolon now the ddl dml compile in this case the dml compiler will execute this particular query and what will happen as a result this particular row will get inserted inside the table student let's enter see here it is giving us one uh, message that one row is created what it means it means the particular value which you want to insert or which for which you have written a command is getting inserted successfully if you want to see whether the value is actually really get inserted in to the student table or not what we can write we can write one command that is a select table command so i'll be writing select star from student and then give semicolon it will give the set of value which is inserted so see this is a value which we have just inserted into the table so it is one saba female 15 mobile number and class so this is a way you can able to insert a value by using the insert table command in the table i hope this is clear to you If you have any difficulty or doubt you can write in the comment box thank you